I'm Ruth Lewis and I'm a senior lecturer in social sciences and my specialism is around sociology but I've also got a foot in criminology because my main research area has been violence against women and I've done a lot of research with others about particularly domestic violence so I worked with colleagues on um, an evaluation in Scotland of the first British programmes for perpetrators of domestic violence and that was a fantastic project to work on partly because it actually informed policy, because our research findings were that uh, sending perpetrators of domestic violence on these re-education programmes was significantly more effective than fining them or putting them on probation or you know, the, the traditional criminal justice sanctions. And that fed into government policy so that we now, around the country, have perpetrators programmes, which ultimately play a really important role in helping women be safer. So I think that's just a fantastic thing to be able to be involved in, to use your research to change government policy for the better for women's lives in this case. So most of my research has been about violence against women. I've worked on the study of perpetrators programmes and also um, worked on the first British sociological study of homicide, looking at all kinds of murder. But more recently I've moved away from those really depressing subjects and I look more at activism because I've always been fascinated by the role that social movement activists have played in changing the world. Domestic violence I think is a, is a perfect example because until the 60s it was absolutely seen as a private issue um, nothing to do with the state, it was all down to you and your partner, you should resolve your problems on your own. And in the 60s and 70s, then women started um, challenging that idea and they started saying, this is a social problem, um, we need support from social workers, from the police, from the justice system, we need government intervention. And if you compare domestic violence back in the 60s to how it is now, there's been a huge change, really important change, so that... Um, Police officers, for example, take it much more seriously. We've actually seen a reduction in the domestic homicide rate, which we think is down to all of this policy change and practice change around domestic violence. And I think it's activists that we have to thank for this. You know, it's only because uh, women, largely feminist women, said this isn't good enough, we need the state to intervene here. That is why we've seen the positive changes. So I'm fascinated in activism now and why people get involved in it, what they do, what impact it has. And I've come to it through domestic violence particularly, but there are all kinds of things around feminist activism that, that are really topical, like the Pussy Riot activists in the Soviet Union who've been imprisoned. You know, how, how does that come about? How does speaking out in favour of feminism land you in jail? I, I think these are really fascinating issues. And they, I'm really enjoying it at the minute because I'm doing a project about young women at university and their engagement with feminist activism. So I'm involved with others in Newcastle in organising the first North East feminist gathering and working with other women to put on a, a weekend of workshops and education and discussions and sharing about feminism and about activism which is fantastic, some of our students are taking part in it too, which is brilliant.